Hey everybody, this is Carla just vlogging life. Guess what? Who's hanging out with mama? Happy birthday. Thank you. How old are you? 23. You think you're grown? You're never grown. You're never fully grown with your mother because guess what? Put you across my knee. <laughs> Give you that work, boy. <laughs> but yeah, so we're headed to the Olive Garden. Uh, hang out and celebrate my little one's birthday. Hubby is playing softball, so he's hopefully he makes it um, and he can celebrate with us. But yep, yeah, that's where we are. Happy birthday! Thank you. So guys, I was sharing with my son that this is the first time that I've eaten indoors in any restaurant since the world shut down. Um, I remember like the day before the world shut down, it was my coworker's bridal shower and we gave her like a brunch at um, the Outback. Um, and um, yeah, so this is the first time that I'm eating indoors since the world shut down, but I feel safe because it's pretty distant in here if you notice. Um, not not a lot of it's a lot of empty tables. Happy birthday! What's going on? Yeah. Oh, there. Yeah, I give, give you a little shine, just a little. You get a glimpse. What's going on? <laughs> so, but um, it's definitely not full capacity, which is cool. So, yeah. Did you want me to give you guys a couple minutes? Look at yeah, we could have just a couple minutes. Okay. You, okay. Thank you. So we're gonna figure out what we're gonna have to eat, and then um celebrate somebody's birthday a far far cry from spongebob birthday parties okay he's you know I, are you ordering something to drink see this is what i'm talking about when they get grown can't control them no more i wasn't even talking about no liquor though i thought you was just saying the drink good good for you with your mommy <laughs> but you can i mean you know you're 23 do, do your thing <laughs> That's what you do. When you're grown, the salad comes with our meal. It looks delicious. Ah. Yeah, yours look like it's an Instagram picture. This is a tale of two cities, Eight Mile, the real Eight Mile. Eight Mile is a road that divides the northern suburbs from the city of Detroit. It spans roughly about 20 miles from west to east, east to west. So right now we are west heading east 
on the southbound side of 8 Mile. The southbound side of 8 Mile is the Detroit side of 8 Mile. One of the most significant dichotomies about 8 Mile is that on the Detroit side of 8 Mile, there are businesses that are allowed to exist that do not exist on the northern suburban side of 8 Mile. The Detroit side of 8 Mile is inundated with quote unquote gentlemen's clubs, legalized marijuana shops, pawn shops, and payday cash loan advance establishments. These visual aids are a daily subliminal message within the community. Even the youngest citizens of Detroit are not exempt from suggestive imagery. There are three bridges on 8 Mile Road known for keeping Detroit citizens within the city limits and outside of the suburban communities. The bridge to our left is one of those bridges.
the west side from the east side of Detroit. We are now leaving the west side and entering the east side. Yep, you're reading that right. There are sections of 8 Mile that are racially profiled by neighboring suburban police departments. There were so many of these businesses until I just couldn't really keep up. Um, so I missed a few to show you guys. But this is not to single any of the businesses out. The businesses are going to do what they're supposed to do, which is run as businesses. However, there should be ordinances um, and limitations on how many of these businesses are in these communities because primarily they are residential communities. So now we're on the northbound side of 8 Mile, which is the suburban side of 8 Mile, headed west. And here you will find no quote unquote gentlemen's club, one legalized marijuana shop, no pawn shop, and a couple of payday loan cash advance establishments. That says a lot. So there you have it. Eight Mile fundamentally is a dividing line between the city of Detroit and the suburban communities. And historically, 8 Mile has been a physical, psychological, and racial barrier within the region. A few of the neighboring suburban communities are called East Point, Warren, Hazel Park, Ferndale, Royal Oak Township, Oak Park, and Southfield. Detroit is within the county of Wayne and the neighboring counties are Washtenaw, Livingston, Oakland, and Macomb. Eight Mile is eight miles from the Detroit River. It is also an eight lane highway which posed a bit of a challenge to get the entire road, north and south, in one frame.
The historical context of 8 Mile, with its beauty, its grind, its grit, its failures, and its successes, cannot be captured in one video. So if you're ever in Detroit, come take a stroll down 8 Mile, where the speed limit is 45 miles an hour, and you can learn about 8 Mile for yourself. docu-vlog series. Um, what sparked this concept was just going out and recreating um, the vlog intro. I want to show you guys like Detroit as a town the, the good and the bad is fundamentally because there are good people in the city of Detroit. Really good people like community home body people you know but of course then there are some bad ones you know and you have to take like the good with the bad um nowhere to go definitely nowhere to go where not to go Republican-backed voting bills moving through Lansing. Why she's calling the measures anti-American. 